Okay, so topic two is you can now, uh, we, 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 I briefly hinted on this. Um, you could tell I've really gone through all the topic lists uh, at 3 30 in the after, 4 30 in the afternoon. So, As always, Dan, we know how sharp and on top of these things you are today. Absolutely. So we, we uh, I asked you for advice on this and, and I tested it. You can now, um, if, if you're on, like, I guess Mike Elgin coined the term Mike Elgin diet or the Google Plus diet, where you're, you originate your blogging on Google Plus and then filter it out from there. Uh, and rather than putting it on a blogger site or WordPress site and then linking to it. And um, in, in, what, in the first segment, you mentioned a lot of things. There are benefits to doing that because stuff will show up in search results if you're posting publicly. And if you're not, you should be. Um, so anyway, now you can create a post. And I tested this. Just I did the I, I posted the, um, the it was, I think, 50th anniversary of the we're going to go to the moon, you know, not because it's easy, but because it's you know it's not easy. We're doing it because it's hard. Kennedy and, speech at, at Rice University, excellent right. speech. So I, I just took that post and I embedded it on our um, on our website, and it worked. It's fantastic. It shows you comments. If you're logged in, you can comment right there. Uh, with, with photographs, though, it actually doesn't display a slideshow there. It takes you to the Google Plus post. But with the video, I think it'll play it in there. If it's a single picture and, and text, it works fine. So I, that's a really convenient. And if you and it obeys things like if it's private uh, or shared only with a circle. If one of those people happens to be looking at your site, they'll see it, but nobody else would. And if you edit it, it updates the post everywhere. So there's some real neat advantages. And, and so tell us what you think about it. And I'm curious. Um, we were thinking about. I was thinking Craig Ship and I were discussing ways this could be relevant, and one of the ways was what if a restaurant had a post on their page for their rest for their uh, their special of the day or you know soup of the day um, they could just edit that Google Plus post and it would go live on any site that had embedded it right it would yeah. update it what are, that's one, one of the what, what what do you think about it in general what are some applications that you think would be relevant for this this is exciting it, it is exciting there are, there are two elements to this and they're they're both kind of important and they're both very significant the first is that from any post you now have as one of the the drop down menus in the the upper right hand corner of a post you'll see a little down arrow you can click on it one of the menu options is embed this post um, and if you click on that it'll give you some code that you can put into your own website the other thing is you don't really need that uh, all you need to do is to know the the post identifier and um, Google's API page talks a bit about how to do that. And once you have that information, you can basically just edit your website to automatically embed a post. And this is exciting in, in so many ways. I've already seen a lot of people talking about how they're going to use this. So you can use it on things like, you know, put up your most recent um, promotions. You're going to post them first on Google+, and they can show up on your website. You know, you can you're essentially turning your website into a mirror of your Google Plus stream, and that could be really cool in a lot of ways. One of the things that that Gerwin demonstrated, and and it was an idea that I had as well, but he demonstrated it perfectly, is how you can make it so that you you use the existing Google Plus API to do searches for posts on a topic on a thread that are yours that are somebody else's have the top five of those automatically pulled onto a web page and then use this embed feature to show the post and the post shows up just like it looks like on Google Plus. That's cool, that's powerful, and it also happens to be imitating Facebook, but that's another story. Um, could you, so you could do, the, you're saying do the code to show like the most, fi the five most recent posts? Yeah. I mean, this is the same way that I think people set it up to where your most recent or it, your HOA, if you were live, it would automatically show up on your website. Sort of. Um, this is actually the same way that something like Comment Tracker works right now, where it will track uh, updates to comments or new posts that come in matching a search result. Using that same technology, instead of printing it as a bit of text, embed the whole post. You know, you can you can use this embed technology in the same way. Um, and Gerwin and I have actually talked about, you know, does do we want comment? Does he want Comment Tracker to use this embed technology instead? And there are some pros and cons to it, but on a website, this is immensely powerful. You know, you see a lot of websites, for example, that show their Twitter stream, mm -hmm. 
Um, this is the same sort of thing, but you can make it so that it shows your latest Google Plus post in big, rich, full detail. You know, make it so the video just shows up there. Make it so that you're you're promoing the pictures, but when they look at the pictures, they go to Google Plus. That's all pretty neat and exciting. This is a pretty exciting technology. There are caveats, um, and they're really disappointing caveats. Um, and I really hope to see them fix those caveats soon. But it's pretty cool. What about the second part of my question? Um, the the soup of the day post special of the day and they could update the post and it automatically updates and they don't have to go mess with their yeah. website because it's often easier to post on google plus than it is your own wordpress site or Ab whatever what absolutely some other applications you can think of uh, absolutely and this is the sort of thing where you know this is why a lot of us have been pushing for an api for so long because really what you want to do is you want to do things in the easiest way possible and have them spread everywhere um, this is one tiny, tiny step in that sort of direction. I, you know, I haven't tested it with how it will work with edits. If it does work with edits, that is really awesome because that's even better than a Google Plus share, um, which doesn't propagate the edits. Um, so that'll be neat to see how it works. The fact that you can comment directly on it means that you now have a commenting system built in. So this, in you know, in some ways, and this ties in a little bit with our next subject. Well. Um, could you make it auto post, for example, let's say if it could auto post on your website, in other words, it would monitor your feed, right? And, and yep. stick it up there. A great thing, let's say there's breaking news. Built into my Android phone, I can, I can take a picture, I can share, uh, you can do this with iOS too, but um, you, it, it, Android take a picture. Take a picture, it. share it to Google Plus, add a little it's, bit of text, and it'll magically show up on your website. On your, your breaking news blog. Like these guys who yep. go are, and are covering like the Apple events where there's no live streaming video and everyone's like taking still pictures and they're putting text and they're documenting it and still on, on blogs. The Verge is probably the best out there at this. Uh, but you could do the same thing. You could take a picture and click share to Google Plus. Steve Jobs just walked. Well, you know, a few years ago, Steve Jobs just walked on stage. If Steve Jobs just walked on stage. Yeah, that would be that would be news. That would be worth sharing. Um, so uh, th th then it would automatically populate. You could say like our, you know, our blog. We're we're live blogging the event, and it's just putting up Google Plus posts because it's a lot easier for me than to try it's to put it on my WordPress site. For it's my certainly phone. possible. It's certainly possible. There, there are some issues with doing it. The biggest one is that you actually will need to run some stuff on your site to do it. But Gerwin has demonstrated it's possible. I'm sure Gerwin and guys like you and him are, are going to uh, come up with like WordPress plugins for this. I'm, I'm sure people are going to be you know, coming up with the plugins, coming up with the different technologies. There was a post I saw that Mike Elgin shared about all of the different ways that, that this is an indispensable tool for people who are, you know, producing really cool websites. And there's all sorts of things you can do with it. I really can't wait to see what, what our panel and what people out there can, can think of to do with it. Awesome. Okay, so um, we'll see what that panel wants to thinks about this.